Now let's just do a quick comparison between Azure policies and Azure roles, uh, just to make sure that we're very clear what the difference of these th two things are. So Azure policies, these are used to ensure compliance of resources and Azure roles, these are used to control access to Azure resources. So uh, on the policy side, these are going to evaluate the state by examining properties on the resources that are re represented in resource manager and properties of some uh, resource providers, they do not restrict actions. And we call this operations, uh, ensures that resource state is compliant to your business rules without concern for who made change or who has permission to make the change. Uh, even if an individual has access to perform an action, if the result is a non-compliant resource, Azure policy still blocks the create or update um, uh, actions there, okay? On the role side, it's very simple. It focuses on managing user actions at different scopes, and it uh, it does restrictions. It does apply restrictions on Azure resources. Okay, so Azure resource or Azure roles controls what you have access to. Azure policies ensures compliance.